channel my name is Mackenzie Drake thank you for joining me today <laughs> how are y'all doing I'm doing it fantastic it's currently Wednesday morning and I'm about to do my makeup today I'm going to be showing you my updated everyday makeup routine I really don't remember the last time I filmed a video like this I really don't remember and honestly my makeup hasn't changed too much I've been doing my shit the same almost forever there are some product differences a lot of people are new and are like bro what do you do on an everyday basis? I don't do a full face makeup every day, but if I'm like, I need to look glam, I need to look good, this is what I do. I thought it was time, oh my god, is my hairline receding? My little breakfast, hard boiled eggs, a little P3. Uh, it's usually what I'll do, I'll like take a shower, make a little breakfast, eat my little breakfast. Um, this little headband when I do makeup and I'm going to try to list all the products down below and also at the end of the video I'm going to show you a slick back bun tutorial um because that's what I always do for the most part if I'm doing an everyday kind of glam look and I don't know what to do with my hair I'll just slick it in a middle part low button and I feel like I'm pretty good at them. I feel like I got some expertise. So we'll do a little voiceover tutorial at the end. First thing I do is obviously apply primer. Um, this is just the Tula Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. Really, I don't I don't know much about primer. I just be putting it on because people be saying it be doing something. It's not gonna be a tutorial because I'm not a beauty guru. So we'll just talk through it. My face is hella red from rubbing it. Normally I do my eyebrows, then if I want to do eyeshadow, I'll do eyeshadow, and then I'll do my face. So I don't know if I'm going to do any eyeshadow today. Maybe a little brown. Honestly, makeup has been such a chore for me recently. I don't know if it's just because it's the summer. I don't know. Eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. Um, I need to get a new one. I definitely need to get a new one of these. It's definitely expired. And I just use these two brushes right here. These are actually from Amazon. And if I found the link, I'll put it down below. But um, it's just this little duo. I don't know why Bootsy's running back and forth right now. Bootsy, quit, please. A little flat brush like this. Conceal them. This is just the Wet n Wild concealer. I need to get another concealer, but whatever. I don't have any fancy eyebrow techniques. I really just start right here, fill it in even overfill it and then I'll just conceal it and it just fixes everything it's hard because I feel like concealing will make it look heavy sometimes but from far away it looks good so okay. important thing is eyebrow gel I think people definitely underlook this like invest in a good eyebrow gel this one's the Anastasia Beverly Hills one amazing I also have the elf one works just the same but honestly, I love this Anastasia one. I'm a big Anastasia person. Uh, I don't know. But I'm going to just do my eyebrows real fast. Everyone really just has their own thing with eyebrows. So I'm going to just hurry up and get this done. I mean, what else do you expect, though, when your name is a little bling bling? There's just no other path in life that you could possibly take. <laughs> so watching their videos, it's all... Yeah. yeah. Just keep giving me love. Hush, keep giving me look. Hush, keep giving me look. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. Is this is Chase Daddy. Yeah. I need you right here beside me. If you oblige me, I hang it up and I never come out of retirement. You should just sleep on it, you shouldn't doubt me. It would be different without me. What is it without me? Don't go do nothing without me. This is a blessing, a shallow, a light. I swear my life story's better than stories they telling the Bob. They got it twisted. Ride the pipe like a bike, make sure you're going the distance. And if he wasn't with it, then why were you with him? Maybe you just had to realize that knowing the difference can make all the difference. 
And then I like to go through a gel and then also spoolie it too, just because they be the gel has a lot of product sometimes. So thumb slight, thumb slight. So I'm gonna use a soft glam Anastasia. You know, it's been um, one of my faves. I normally just go in between these two, which is orange soda and burnt orange, and I'll just do a very light in the corner and make sure I blend it a lot. My inner corner next. I changed up my inner corner a little bit because now I add glitter. So I'll do that before I do my foundation. First go with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm sorry if you hear Avon TikTok in the NYX room. I think you know that. Ava, shut your door. Break corner. I used to just leave it at this. And don't get me wrong. Sometimes I do. But I do like to add glitter now because I have it. I like to use just like the end of a something. And blend it out because it can be quite harsh, that little stick. For the big kahuna i use the nyx glitter primer i've been wanting to get like the nyx glitter and the nyx primer forever and i finally got it like i don't know when it was i don't know because they never have this in stock like at anything because normally if i want to go get some makeup i'll go to walmart i'll go to walgreens or i mean i'll go on ulta but I don't know. Normally when I'm looking for glitter, I'll just go to Walmart and it's never in stock. So this is just the NYX Glitter Primer. And then this glitter is called Ice. G-L-I-0-7. So it's just this super... I don't know if you can tell, but it's just literally white. I'll zoom in a little bit. Same brush. Um, as you can see, this is just full of glitter. I'll just put the glitter primer i'll get the glitter primer uh and i'll just put some on the back of my hand like this and you don't need that much really just take it little by little you can't get this everywhere like the first time i did it i was just like eh, 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 and i got it like all the way down here and it started peeling because obviously it's like glue and i learned you can't do that so i put it very sparingly um on my inner corner or it'll look crazy i also don't know if you're supposed to like let this shit dry but i just like apply it automatically after this glitter is just so pretty it's literally just white like holographic um i normally lean over because i am getting over so there's that um in the daytime, it really doesn't do much. I mean, it does a little bit, but like at night, I feel like it elevates my makeup so much. Like it looks so pretty. So if y'all like, it literally changes everything. I think y'all need to go get some glitter if you have it. Yeah, it looks a little dramatic right now, but with the foundation, highlight, lashes, It'll look much better. Oh my god, look at my nails. I'm actually getting them done this Friday, but like they're my cuticles. I also have this glitter that I haven't even tried yet. This is called Crystal, and it's like thicker chunks. I'm excited to try this too. There I just went my beauty blender. I just have a little black beauty blender. Um, or you can use a real technique sponge. Those literally do the exact same thing. Don't let the internet fool you and make you spend more money um, because I got this and I'm not going to say I'm disappointed, but like, I don't know what I was expecting. Like, not that, it's not going to be that different, you know? And then this is hands down my favorite foundation. I also, I want to try the NARS Radiant one. I just have been so busy in my life. The last thing I'm doing is trying out new makeup products, you know what I mean? But this is the It Cosmetics CC plus hydrating serum full coverage cream but it's foundation this is in light no this one's in fair and then i also have it in fair light whenever i'm darker 
Um, I still feel like this is darker, too dark for my skin. I think this is the lightest one they have though, so I'm like, what the fuck? But um, I'll just dot it on my face really. Um, it really depends on the day. Some days I'll do shit like in parts. Some days I'll literally blend out all my foundation in like one go. Make sure to go on the neck, as you can see. Oh, my eyes burning. Oh, good. Um, as you can see, it's not a perfect color. My shit's never a perfect color, <laughs> ever. Also, I don't put it directly on my nose, or it'll just kick up. Just like go over your nose with extra, cause I'm already putting concealer and a bunch of powder on it. Um. And I feel like this is a pretty full coverage foundation. And I'll just be applying it like it's not. I'll just be caking this bitch in. I really hope it doesn't be looking bad. Because, I mean, honestly, you never know what you look like. I mean, once you're out and you're, like, having fun with your day, I'm not always checking myself and making sure that my foundation be matching. I bet I'd be going out, it'd be oxidizing, I bet I'd look crazy, but it's fine. We're having a good time. And that all, that's all that matters, really. And then I'll do my forehead last. A little bit of forehead action. I won't put too much. Oh, that was kind of a lot, actually. I just don't understand how people be doing their makeup and they don't have a headband on or they don't have their like hair back in some kind of way I'll be on watching TikTok for people doing their makeup YouTube videos and like they'll literally just have their hair down and they're just like woo and getting foundation all in their hair I'm like it literally is probably one of my biggest pet peeves Obviously, it's not my makeup, so I don't give a fuck, but you know what I mean? Just watching that hurts my soul a little bit. A little bit. And then the Photo Focus Concealer. I want to get the Shape Tape. I'm, I'm, I need to get the NARS Radiant Foundation and Shape Tape. Or the, the NARS Concealer. I mean, I don't think it'll do much different than these, but... It makes me feel better about myself getting fancier products because consumerism you know what I mean and people make me believe I mean the NARS concealer got to have some kind of better quality than the wet n wild <laughs> some more more this doesn't really have like coverage and I don't really need coverage luckily I don't have a lot of like problem areas but it's also I want coverage. NARS Radiant Finish Setting Spray. I mean NYX, the fuck? I'm on this NARS cook. Um, if you can't afford luxurious makeup, literally NYX is probably one of my favorite like makeup brands. NYX is everything. Like, before I could buy Anastasia and everything, I bought NYX out the motherfucking wazoo. Um, but back then NYX wasn't expensive. It's kind of expensive now. It low key is. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Bootsy, can we? Do y'all hear this cat? Because she's going crazy. For powder, um, I've been using Airspun. I think for the past like five years. I've been, I don't know, everyone was raving about it and I bought it, so I literally don't even know what it, I just be using it, like, I actually recently bought the Derma Blend, but I actually got too dark of a powder, so I really don't know what to do with this, none of my friends wants it, I don't know if I can sell open makeup on Depop, um, but that was like a $40 powder, so I don't know what the fuck to do. So I just pour a little bit like right here 
and then I use my dry real technique sponge. I actually cleaned this the other day. I need to clean my beauty blender. I'm not good at cleaning my tools, <laughs> like my brushes. I can't remember the last time I cleaned them. I know it's gross. <laughs> I know. So before I do the powder, I'll just make sure it's blended. Now, I saw on TikTok a hack. It said to, I haven't tried it yet, but we're gonna try it. It said to pounce your powder in until it disappears. And it makes it last longer, which I've never tried. I've only, like, left it and baked it, you know? But we're going to try it. So we'll put on on. And then we'll just keep pouncing it in. I feel like this is going to make it look crazy, but I also I have no idea. Each time, my mother fucking knows. Keep pouncing. I see what they mean. I see how this would work. I literally go with my whole face with their spun. Um, even though I do have dry skin, um, I should still be rubbing off just from existing. I definitely see how pouncing it until it disappears would help. Uh, forehead with a little like kabuki brush. I get all my brushes on Amazon. I really want to buy Morphe ones, but I haven't gotten around to it. Like, if Amazon works for me, you know, whatever. But I also think Morphe brushes, like, they have quality. You know, that shit's fucking quality. Like, why wouldn't you want some quality as brushes? And I also just go up and on my ears with the powder on my neck in circular motions. You feel me? Just to blend it so that, you know, I definitely think that changed how my skin looks. Pouncing in the powder. Do I have a beauty mark right there? You learn new thing every day. And then I take my like eight year old brush. This was actually my first brush ever. This was my first PR package ever. It's this little pink brush. That I remember they were called velvet brushes. Y'all, I mean, I wash it, so whatever, but, like, I need to buy a new brush. This is also the same Milani Luminoso blush that I've had since 2015. It's a problem. Y'all are really gonna be like, oh my god, this girl's gross. I threw out, I have mostly new makeup, except for that blush. I don't know why I can't just buy a new blush. I actually did. But I just love the Luminosa one so much. And it's still fun. So. I use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's just such a pretty cool toned color. It's not too warm, but it's not too cool. It's like right in the middle. And I'll just start right here. And then I'll just start blending. And up on my temple. Bronzing is just such an amazing thing. It makes you not look gross and pale. And then I take my blush. I'm low-key happy. I don't have nails anymore though. Everything's so much easier. Pat a little bit and then I go right on the top of my cheekbones. Focus it right here. I also like to put some on my nose. Next step. I do bake. Um, just my nose contour and my jawline. You know? Boom. It just like cuts it. Uh, when you blend it away, I don't know if you can really tell, but... When I'm doing it, it makes me feel better. The thing about the real techniques is, I don't even have to like try to like bake my nose contour. I just go boom, and then I'll just like line it up. 
I got it my eye that time because I wasn't looking, but. This side is more what I do. This one looks crazy, but this one can line it up. I don't let it sit too long. I literally blend it out like as soon as I do it. I'm not patient. Highlight while that's baking, but I forgot. Cause I'm dumb. So. Highlight, that's probably my favorite part. I take this little mini fan brush, um, also from like a little kid on Amazon, and I'll just spray it with my setting spray, or I'll spray it with water. Get that bitch damp, just do it. And then recently I've been using this NYX Born to Glow Icy Highlighter. It broke on, the, on a plane, but this one says Platinum Status and Diamond Chains. Or I'll use the Maven Beauty dripped out. I'm feeling. I'll first start my nose. I'll just glimmer that bitch. Keep it low. Glimmer that bitch. Ten. Glimmer that bitch. You can. Like just look how pretty that is. It doesn't even look like a highlighter. It looks like a. Like a. Like a. I don't even know. Like a. Like a glow, like a natural glow. Spray that bitch some more. Make sure to highlight here and to highlight right here on your forehead and right here as well. People will be forgetting that. But that's really what makes your makeup pop off. Now my favorite part, um, second to highlighter, or I keep saying everything my favorite part. Setting my face. This is where everything just like melts together. Um, I do it right now and then I'll do my lashes, let my mascara dry, and then I'll do it again. Let that bitch dry. I need to get a fan. I actually had a fan. I got it. When did I get it? I also heard it's a hack to pounce your setting spray in, which is always fun. Cause this doesn't have a good nozzle. Like it'll literally just start squirting like drips of like liquid. <laughs> now, if you have like a Morphe one, they definitely spray setting spray better. I like the Morphe setting sprays. But, um, here's the finished look. I'm just kidding. Oh, it's time for mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Curvitude. I really like this one. And I just apply it. Do you feel me? There's that. My lashes have gotten hella short. Oh, I have an added step to my routine, okay? I do fake freckles. I don't do a lot, but I do something slight. It shows really pretty in the sun um, at night, not really. But this I got from Walmart. It's the Lottie brand, which I think is new. And I, they had this like little stand and I was like, what is this? And this is freckle tint. This is in light. It's a pretty thick applicator though, so I just have to like get a bunch of liquid off. Just literally apply it right here on my nose. I won't apply it on my whole nose, but I'll just do it like right here, like on the tips of my cheeks, you know? I won't put it like all over my face. But you gotta do hella light, I have to focus, so <laughs> just watch me do it. <laughs> And then that's what it looks like. I'll take my powder kabuki and just stipple it like that. As you can see, it's more of a natural freckle now. See, it's very hard to tell, but 
it's a slight add-on that I think is really cute. So now lashes. Um I have a whole video talking about how to apply lashes. If y'all want to go watch it, um I'll put it down below or something. Just actually got this set off of Amazon and I really love them. I've gotten back into bigger lashes. Um but they just look like this. Pretty basic. But I gotta open some new ones, which always sucks. I hate using all my lashes. Boom. And then this is the House of Lashes eyelash glue. I really just grab whatever glue I have. And I'll just pack it on. Yep, has literally taken me an hour. Like, well, why? Um, normally this takes me like 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes without like eyeshadow and everything. And there we go. There are the lashes. They're very lush like. They just look so like fluffy. I hope I link at least like the important things like my lashes. So this is the NYX lip pencil. I always use the NYX either retractable or just the regular lip pencils. I have these in natural but this one's chocolate. I want to do a little bit of chocolate today. And then I'll go in with more NYX. Um, I actually just recently got this. This is the NYX lingerie push up long lasting lipstick in seduction such a pretty color and then i'll go in with the butter gloss the nyx butter gloss and fortune cookie on the middle and then i'll go in with the praline butter gloss everywhere else and then i'll use a little lip gloss or lip oil just everywhere okay that was a lot but i'm gonna just do it instead of explaining it because i have to do it on my lips so let me do it real quick <laughs> Just the lips, as you can see, it's just like chocolate, nude, something. I do this or a combination of something like this each time. Band off. And we got everyday makeup look. <laughs> okay. I do this probably each time I have makeup and I'm filming every day. Da da da. Hope you enjoyed this. Now I'm gonna go do my hair and I'm just show y'all a little tutorial. So let's go to the bathroom. Okay, let's let's get this let's get this figured out too. Okay. Hey y'all, what's up? We in the bathroom with it. Hey. So you obviously need a little paddle brush um, to brush the hair. You, you need it to be smooth. This is a Conair like bristle brush. I do not know the exact name, but this makes your hair lay. It just makes your hair lay so freaking flat. And then here's obviously a little comb to separate my part and some got to be glue hairspray and some water. Obviously, I'm just brushing it back as I should. We don't need tangles to um, part it. I will literally be sitting there for like 30 minutes making sure I have the right part. Cause the last thing I want is something not looking right. I will literally just sit there and make sure it's in the middle. <laughs> my hair is normally already parted in the middle, but so OCD with my part. See, look, damn, my bitch is in the middle. Like, bitch. Oh, and she going again. Like, anyways. It's the start of the process. I'll have the paddle brush in one hand, the bristle brush in one hand. And I'll just start wetting the Conair, like the bristle brush. And I'll just start brushing it back. I'll make sure there's a bunch of water in my hair. Like, literally damp. <laughs> and I'll just start brushing it back and holding it. I don't know. Y'all can see what I'm doing. Yeesh, I don't, I don't know, man. I just make sure there's no bumps. The last thing you want is bumps. That's just so annoying. 
as you can see I switch between both brushes because the paddle brush is good to uh, get all the tangles the bristle brush won't do that and then as you can see we just slowly we slowly get it to the back and this is what it end up looking like with the ponytail back and I just take my hairspray spray that bee spray that bee but I don't leave it I go over the hairspray with more water and brush because we don't need it drying up all crackly we don't need that that is not cute okay and then I add water to my hairline just to make sure that it's really slick down rebrush it I'll be sitting there for years just rebrushing that shit then I just get a ponytail holder put in a ponytail and boom that's the final look for the pony but bitch you know I gotta make it into a bun look at how smooth that is oh and then obviously I hairspray again a bunch of hairspray like right by my ear and then right at my neck because those hairs are annoying and then to make the bun I literally just twist the hair like a regular bun I don't like braid it or anything I just do the most simple fucking bun you can do um, and then I just tie it with a ponytail again and hairspray again this thing because you always need that and this is the final look okay I'm always going over it with water especially like throughout the night but bruh look at this I feel like I should be in the army or like the military or some shit with this bun like <laughs> that bitch is slick anyways that's the end of my tutorial thanks for watching so everyone this is the final look as you can see look at this bun like come on my buns used to look so bad but this shit's slick and then I literally just add hoops <laughs> like each time these ones are from rue 21 I think or something but this is the final look this is my everyday makeup and hair put on an outfit and go about my day as I do um thank you guys so much for watching I'll try to put any of the like I don't know what I'll decide to link below but <laughs> maybe I'll link something I don't know but yeah this is it i just love how clean this hair looks whenever i do my makeup it's just i'd rather do this than have my hair down i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest um but that's everything please hit that like button subscribe for more content i'm gonna have a bunch of new videos coming up i'm gonna be moving back to college soon so y'all take this in as you can i'll be back um and I'm going to be in a little apartment. Ah. It's an on-campus apartment, but it's an apartment. So it's a regular apartment, but it doesn't have a stove. Meal plan, so I'm going to be doing like grocery store vlogs, more cooking vlogs, like because I cannot be eating out. I can't do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and... Yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out, Girl Scout. Mwah.